All right, Audrey, thanks. Now to an issue that is finding common ground among some lawmakers, to have mandatory newborn screenings for SCID, or severe combined immunodeficiency. Massachusetts and New York already screened for it, but our state does not do it yet, and they're trying to implement this potentially life-saving screening. WSTC and WNLK radio talk show host Lisa Wexler is here to talk a little bit about this. Good to see you again, Lisa. Good to see you, Logan. So let's talk about this. You two were telling me during the break that you're very passionate about very. it. How come? Because um, because through my radio show, I met the Models. Their son died of a form of primary immunodeficiency disease, which most people know best as the bubble boy disease. Right. And actually, there's a wide range of these diseases. The most severe is SCID. That's the acronym for Severe Combined Immunodeficiency Disease, SCID. And the beautiful thing is that through research and diagnosis, there is now a cure for SCID, but... It has to be newborn screening because there's only a three-month window for a bone marrow transplant. After the three months, the child will have the disease. Mm -hmm. It is always fatal, and there are $2 million in medical costs associated on average with the child before the child will die. So if you catch it early enough, you can treat it's it with that. It's, it's not even treatable. It's cured with a bone marrow transplant. 97% cured. Done. Right. Okay. And so so me, what's the other side of this? Why are people not nobody's so... Nobody's against it, John. Nobody's against nobody's it. Nobody's against it. In fact, our Department oh. of Public Health, Jewel Mullen, is in favor of it. John Fontana is in favor of it. John McKinney, who's a Republican, and Bob Duff are working very hard behind the scenes, in front of the scenes to pass it. I haven't found one legislator person that's against it. It's a no-brainer. Hmm. It becomes the fact that even though the bill was passed, it was passed with a fiscal note. And, and that means that it costs a little bit of money. Well, it costs $3 a baby. That's what it costs. We have 42,000 births in Connecticut a year. One in 30,000 approximately will be having this disease. So we'll save about a baby a year, more or less. You never know. And uh, in other words, it could be two babies one year. And, and It's odd that nobody's against it, but we don't have it here. And they've got it in it. Massachusetts. They've got it in New York. What's they have it in Florida, which has no money. They have it in California. They have it in Texas. They have it in Louisiana. Why Louisiana. not just make it a federal requirement? Well, HH, because HHS has made it a recommendation. It's one of the 34 or 35 newborn diseases, uh, newborn screening uh -huh. recommendations of Kathleen Sebelius. This is the only one Connecticut doesn't screen is for. Is anybody against this? Nobody's against it. But in a budget process, the issue is how do you pay for it? So it's a, let's say it's $120,000 a year, and nobody wants taxpayers to pay for anything. So the suggestion is that right now hospitals pay $56 to labs in Connecticut to test for all the newborn diseases. In order to include SCID among these, it would be $59. So essentially, if I'm a parent and my kid has the bad luck of being born in Connecticut with this disease, my child will die from it. But if I have the good luck of having my child born in Boston or in West Chester Hospital, my child's disease will be caught. How many parents do you know wouldn't pay $3 more a baby to have their child tested for SCID? Well, it all sounds terrific the way you're presenting it. What it sounds like to me is that if somebody's against it, the reason you'd be against this is because it's taxpayer money paying for somebody else's child well, to get this. And then the argument would be, you know what? I'm a taxpayer. I'm not going to be paying for all of these tests because it's this test, then it's another test. But where is it a taxpayer? It's the parent well, that pays. The, well, it's, it's, it's if you're associated telling, with the cost of having a baby. Let me ask you this. If it's the parent who pays for it, yes. then why doesn't the doctors, why does it have to be a bill? Why doesn't the doctor just say, hey, we can do this I'll test you on why. your child? I'll and if you'd like to do it, you can. And if you don't want to pay the $3, you don't have because to. Because it's administered. The program is administered by our Department of Public Health. That's why it's in a bill. In other words, like cystic fibrosis, like all the rest of shouldn't the newborn parents skin have the disease. I mean, shouldn't I mean parents are allowed to do whatever they want? They can get the test or we not don't get have, the test. We need the funding because otherwise the lab facilities don't exist in Connecticut for this. This this fee, this increased fee, goes towards making sure that in Connecticut the newborn screening is done in Connecticut. Massachusetts has offered to do this for Connecticut babies at less of a cost. We're Connecticut we're wants to, to be able to this. do this. I am getting people. I think it's a no-brainer. Okay. Don't forget, you can listen to Lisa, 1400, WSTC, 1350, WNLK. Lisa Wexler, good to see you. Thanks, Thanks for coming you. on the program. Sure. Joe, over to you. Hi, guys. And our weather is, uh, well, right now not that great, but, you know, compared to what's been going on around us, uh, we'll, you know, we'll just deal with this gray sky and drizzle and fog and temperature that's cool.